Right then, so we're back, and it's another Honor smartphone review. This time we're reviewing the Honor Magic 5 Lite, an affordable mid-range device from Honor, which is just essentially a teaser for the Honor Magic 5 Pro, which is going to be released not long after this device is released on the market. The Tech Travel Geeks have been using the Honor Magic 5 Lite for just over a month now, and it's time to do our long-term review. I've been using this as my main smartphone alongside some other devices and can quite confidently say this lives up to the Honor brand and the overall experience is excellent. I've been using this not just for messaging and social media, but for taking some decent pictures with the main camera on the device. In day-to-day -day use, it is a battery champion. The 5100 milliamp hour battery on the device is paired with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 chipset. So two tiers down from a complete flagship chipset, but that gives good performance and astounding battery life. Compared to other devices with 5000 milliamp hour batteries, the Honor Magic 5 Lite outperforms them all. And trust us, we've seen quite a few devices with 5000 milliamp hour batteries here at Tech Travel Geeks. The bottom of the device is where you'll find the speaker, microphone holes, and the USB Type-C port. That's usually used for data and charging. And importantly, the charging on the Honor Magic 5 Lite is something that we've seldom seen before. It's 40 watt charging. Now, as the device comes out of the box, it has a power cable in it, but there was no charging brick. It may de depend on the market you're in where you're buying the device, on whether you have a charger in the box. But in our experience with an existing Honor 66 watt charger, we've managed to get the indicator that is charging at 40 watts. So it does fast charge. And in my experience, in about half an hour, you get an 80% charge from completely flat. One of the things that on paper stands out as maybe being a bit of a cut down is that Qualcomm Snapdragon 6 series chipset. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 is a very capable chipset in my experience. And it even plays games like Call of Duty and high settings really, really well. We did a whole dedicated video of that here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. So be sure to check that one out if you want to see how bad I am at playing at Call of Duty and how well the device performs in high settings. The overall software experience on the Honor Magic 5 Lite is very similar to the ones we've seen previously from Honor devices. Magic UI 6.1 is a refined version of Android with Honor's distribution features on top of it. It is very pleasant to use, very comfortable if you come from a previous Honor device, and much more consistent than it has been in previous years. I've really enjoyed using the Honor Magic 5 Lite just because of that. It's familiar, I know how to get around the smartphone, and it's very visually pleasant. Obviously, you can theme that with wallpapers and actual operating system themes if you wish to. Dark theme obviously looks gorgeous on an OLED display. I would say overall, the Honor Magic 5 Lite from a software experience is great. Now, obviously, playing games, watching video, you interact with the screen and the display of the Honor Magic 5 Lite is an OLED display. In this case, it is a 6.67 inch display, which is gorgeous. Colors are well saturated, blacks are deep blacks. It's very responsive, very detailed, and it's full HD plus resolution, which means you'll be able to play full HD content from Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime Video, and any other video service you use. That lovely OLED display is a high refresh rate one. It's in my settings set to dynamic at 120 hertz. And obviously when not really needed, the smartphone intelligently switches down the refresh rate to save battery power, which may be another contributing factor to how insanely good the battery life is on the Honor Magic 5 Lite. The display is slightly curved. It curves into the sides very gently and Likewise, the plastic back, and yes, it is a plastic back. If you want to argue in the comments, please do come at us. We are 100% sure it's a plastic back. The plastic back pretty much mirrors the curvature of the front screen into the back, and it joins on the plastic frame in a very ergonomically pleasant way. 
That means that despite the device having a large 6.67 inch display with narrow bezels and that curvature, the Honor Magic 5 Lite gives you the impression it's a much slimmer, lighter, more manageable device. And it is beautiful to hold. I've been using the Honor Magic 5 Lite for a month without a case. And yes, I am quite careful when doing that. It hasn't seemed to pick up any particularly bad scratches or details, but it is a fingerprint magnet on the back. The same on the front, but on the front, I've not removed the screen protector that comes pre-installed. That means that, yes, it is inherently more of a fingerprint magnet, but that lovely reinforced glass screen at the front is well protected. Now, the display has a cutout dotch for the selfie camera. It works well, it looks good. It's a modern one, which is center position. I really like the overall design of that. And at the top, just on the lip above that selfie camera, you have an infrared blaster, a feature we really do like here at Tech Travel Geeks. Very useful when you're traveling and maybe in a hotel room where you don't want to touch the remote control. But there are a few things which are worthy of mention. The key things are that the camera, whilst very good and very usable, especially in good lighting conditions, can make things a little soft in its output, especially in low light conditions. So things like the fur of my cat, in particular little Teal, who's a black cat, can look a little bit soft compared to the sharpness we've seen from other smartphones. But overall, it takes very pleasant pictures. There is another couple of cameras in that round circular ring that's in the center of the device. Those are a 5 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 2 megapixel macro one. Now, the ultra wide camera is particularly useful in conditions where you do want to take an ultra wide picture, but the overall quality is definitely cut down from that main sensor. And the 2 megapixel macro one, again, is a sticker camera. We would say it's probably best if you get up close and personal with your subject with the main sensor rather than try and use that fixed focus macro camera. The camera on the front is a 16 megapixel wide angle camera. It works very well. It does all you'd expect it to do. It also performs relatively well in bad lighting conditions. For example, when you have a main light source behind you. And I've had no issues whatsoever making video calls to friends and family using the Honor Magic 5 Lite. So the main sensor on the Honor Magic 5 Lite is a pretty decent one for pictures. But when it comes to recording video, it's let down a little by that Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 chipset. That means you won't be able to record video at 4K resolution. It will max out at Full HD. But overall, the quality of that Full HD video is very, very good. Whilst the Snapdragon 695 may be holding the device back in the video recording world, I think that it doesn't hold back the device overall. For the price, you're really getting a very capable smartphone. And the way Honor have tied together the Magic UI experience, the chipset, the overall performance of the device makes that full HD video recording something that I'm quite happy to accept. The Honor Magic 5 Lite does not have a courage port. It doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, as most devices in this price range do nowadays. That means that to listen to music, podcasts, audiobooks, make video calls, you're likely going to use Bluetooth earphones. And in my case, I've been using the Honor earbuds as well as a selection of other earphones with the device and had no issues whatsoever. Bluetooth connectivity has been very good and I can often go down to the kitchen, leave my phone on the desk and carry on listening to content whilst I'm doing that. So well done to Honor in really good Bluetooth performance, where other devices in similar conditions struggle. The Honor Magic 5 Lite does have NFC. You can use this device for making mobile payments. I have done so using my Monzo card. Great. What I would say is that there is no wireless charging on the Honor Magic 5 Lite. Definitely a cut down from some of the more flagship-like devices from Honor. But no issue there. At the price point the Honor Magic 5 Lite is, which is just under £300 sterling in most places, that is a very good smartphone for the price. 
In terms of security, the Honor Magic 5 Lite can be unlocked using Face Unlock and that selfie camera in the dodge. But what I would say is it's more secure, as usual, to use a fingerprint scanner. And the Honor Magic 5 Lite has one placed under the OLED display. Whilst personally I prefer one side mounted on the power button, this one is fast responsive and very bright when used in the dark. Okay then, so to sum up this long-term review of the Honor Magic 5 Lite, I'm happy to say this is the device I could definitely recommend to friends and family. Provided you don't need to record 4K video and you're not absolutely needing the best camera in the world, the Honor Magic 5 Lite at under £300 sterling is a very good value for money device, which offers a very compelling overall experience. One thing to shout out about is that lovely, lovely display and the overall ergonomics of the Honor Magic 5 Lite feeling so thin and light. The design is quite a standout too. Even if you don't have a case on it, it really does stand out in the crowd because of that circular ring in the center of the device where the three cameras are housed. It really does look and feel different. But because of the overall construction and the way it doesn't feel cheap, it's good to see that this is the light version of the flagship series from Honor for 2023. This just makes us more excited about what the rest of the Honor Magic 5 series will look and feel like when holding it in hand and using it on a day-to-day -day basis. So, Thanks for watching it this far if you made it into the end of our long-term review of the Honor Magic 5 Lite. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. We cover consumer electronics, gadgets, accessories, things we think make the travel experience better. And obviously mobile is central to modern travel nowadays. I'm about to go on a long holiday with my wife and I'll be doing some travel-related content. And our Chief Aperture Officer, Lukesh, will also be going on a long holiday in a few weeks' time. So be sure to be subscribed to Tech Travel Geeks for more coverage of consumer electronics, but also travel content. As 2023 progresses, we'll be doing more and more coverage, and more importantly, kicking off our podcast again. But for now, thanks for watching, and goodbye from us.